How to insert image in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert image in Microsoft Excel. You can insert image from your device and also you can insert image from the web. We are going to learn both of them here. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> So to insert image first you need to click on the insert tab and then under the illustrations option you will have to either click on the picture or click on this drop down both will do the same and then you will select this device okay once you select it it will open up and you will need to navigate to the image okay so I want preview so let's insert this image here select it and click insert now here is the image now if i want if i click on the image and i can drag it and place it anywhere now if i want to align this image in cell h3 if i click on the order and select the image and you can see it's easily aligned if you want you can resize this image you will have to click on the image and from this small circle here once you place your mouse over the circle it will change now select it and drag it according to your need okay now i have dragged it and inserted here now if you want to copy this image just press ctrl and select it and then drag it so same image to copy you want to remove it you will have to select the image and press delete okay now let's learn some advanced feature right click on the image and here you can see size and properties select it now we will have four option here the first one you can add a fill color to your image and if you want you can add a line to your image okay let's add a red line here if i click on any of the blank cell you can see there is a red border line with our image okay now if i click on the image and then click on line and here we can select no line click on anywhere else and image doesn't have any border line okay now select the image again and click this option here we have a lot of option we can add shadow to our image so select on shadow and add a shadow you want i added this one and you can see shadow of this image i can remove it from here then we have reflection if i want i can add a reflection like this and you can see this numbered they are mirrored let me drag it and now, now you can see this is a true reflection of this image and this number or mirror if you want you can remove it now then glow from here we can glow this image you can see this is how it works you can remove this also from here there is another option soft edges select it and you can select the soft edge like this and you can see if i change the size you can see the image is changing okay so the soft edge can help you focus on the center of the image okay there is another option 3d format if we select it you can see the image is now in 3d okay now remove it from here 3d rotation we have another option here we can rotate our image like this if you want you can use this and you can reset it okay now artistic effect from here you can change it you can change your image like this or any effect you can want you can use it from here like this okay and also you can reset it from here now we are going to the size you can fix the height and weight of your image from here okay you can you can change the rotation we can do a lot of things related to height and weight of our image now the properties this is interesting here we have this option move but doesn't size with cell this is the default option okay if i select move and size with cells okay now our image is placed in cell h3 okay now let's make it smaller so our image is inside this cell if i hide this row our image is hidden okay it is because we selected this option 
move and size to itself. Now let's increase the size. Now we have another option for alter text. If we write something here, the image title, and if we write the description, it will help visually impaired people okay if you add a title and description here if someone is using screen reader they will understand what the image title and description is okay so this is basically created for visually impaired people and this is a really helpful feature if you need it you can use it from here okay and the last option is picture correction you can use it from here you can change it you can add the sharpness you can control brightness etc you can also reset it okay and you can change picture color and you can also crop your image so picture position we can increase it and position it just like we want also we can crop the image and remove unwanted things from our image so this is how you can insert image from your device now let's see we can insert image from the web so select a cell click on insert then pictures and then online pictures if i click here it will give us option we can get image from our onedrive or we can get image from bing search okay we can either search it or we can select this type of images okay let's search excel Now, the important thing is that by default, it will only give you the Creative Commons pictures, okay? These are copyright free pictures. If you uncheck this, it will give you a lot of options, but those emails could be copyrighted and you cannot use them. So, we are only using the Creative Commons pictures, okay? You can select it from here and you can click insert. In this way, you can insert image directly from the web. And here, we have the description and we have the image license okay now select the image and you can resize it okay and also you can get all the feature we just showed select the image and from here okay so this is how you can insert an image in excel from your device from OneDrive, and also from the web and this is how you format your image in excel Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can, please support the channel through Patreon or Super Chat. If you like this video, please share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.